Hey everybody, I'm Corey Lacino, a lead on developer relations for Google Ads, and I'll be talking about our new MCP server. First off, what is an MCP server? MCP, or Model Context Protocol, is the open standard that allows agents like Gemini to connect with and act upon external systems like Google Ads. It allows us to chat with an LLM, or a large language model, about our data and have the LLM help us analyze it, all using natural language prompts. We've released our own open source Google Ads MCP server, which you can host and operate independently, and this provides full access to the source code empowering you to configure and modify the server to meet your needs. Or you can just run it as is and leverage the power of LLMs right out of the box. I'll be using the Gemini command line interface, or CLI. This brings the capabilities of the Gemini model directly into the terminal. You can use any LLM that supports MCP servers though. This is my Gemini config file. The config is available on our GitHub repo, which is linked in the notes and includes setup information. As it starts up, you can see that it is connected to our MCP server. You can check capabilities and look for issues by typing forward slash MCP. But let's move on quickly to the good stuff. The simplest and probably first thing you want to do is get a list of all accounts you have access to. If you've used our UI, you know that your customer ID is always in the top right of your screen. And if you've used our API, you know that you always need to pass that CID with every call you make. Don't forget to drop the hyphens. Now we're going to continue the conversation with our agent to get a little more information about one of those customer IDs. Let's start by asking it what campaigns are active. It's going to try to understand what we're asking it. Then it's going to come up with a query to utilize the MCP server and make a request against the Google Ads API. As you can see, it pulls down the Google Ads API response and digests it into a table of only the active campaigns we were looking for. Now I'm interested in the top performing keywords for that same account with respect to conversions. I'm gonna ask it to give me just the top five keywords, but ordered by their total conversion value. It's gonna pull the API and give me back that data. Let's try to ask it a conversions related troubleshooting question. I want it to look at my conversions data for the past 30 days and tell me if it sees something that might be a problem. This is a common question you might ask an account manager to look into, and it might also save you time so you don't have to reach out to support. It's gonna to go to the API and it's gonna pull back the conversions data and try to look for patterns and reasons for those patterns to suggest whether or not something might be a problem. Last one. I really wanna to try to get it to strategize for me. I'm going to ask it to not only pull my top campaigns, but also analyze them for a lower than expected return on ad spend, or ROAS. And then it's going to suggest some strategies for me on how I can increase my return. If you take a look at the output, it's given me an optimization suggestion section for each campaign. The suggestions are ranging from targeting changes to keyword relevance to landing page experience and much more. Hopefully this gives you a taste of what's possible. We're excited to see what you can do with this new technology, now as LLMs rapidly improve and our MCP server is expanded. Will it become part of your workflow, helping you find trends and diagnose issues? How will you leverage this MCP to build your agentic strategy? What can be simply automated to save you time to focus on more important efforts? Be sure to let us know in the survey link provided below in this video's description. And please, come join the discussion in our Google, Google Advertising and Measurement Discord server. We'd love to hear what you're doing with the MCP server and if you have any feedback for improvement. Also, check out the resources on GitHub. It'll help you get started with your implementation. All links are below in the description. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.